So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take the date that we're populating into our table and format it in a more human readable way. So at the moment, we've got an ISO string in, the, in there at the minute, which is coming straight from the database, which is a bit difficult to read. So we're going to use a tool to format it so that we can customize the way that that uh, date looks without actually modifying the data underneath. So it's still going to store the ISO string. It's just when we present it to the user, uh, we're going to display it in a different way. And you're going to really like how easy this is to do. Uh, so we're going to install a package called day.js. Uh, so this is very similar to moment.js if you've ever used that before, uh, but it's just kind of a newer version and it's uh, maintained, uh, whereas moment.js is now uh, not being maintained. So let's first of all install it into our uh, repository. So we'll say npm install uh, and then it's just day.js is the package. It's quite small so it shouldn't take too long to actually install. And then in our stats application, we just import it into our TypeScript code with import star as uh, day.js uh, from day.js. So with that imported, we can then use the day.js function to format any uh, strings of uh, the dates that we've got on our page. So down here where we're creating the stats table row, we're uh, just populating the accessed uh, property straight from the database. So here we can call uh, day.js and then it's just a function that you call and you pass in uh, with the date string that you have. So if we just save that and then pop over to the app, you can see straight away that's formatted our date in a much easier way to read. It tells us the day, uh, it tells us the, the date and time and also the time zone. Uh, so that's great, it, it's uh, automatically uh, made our lives easier, but we can format it uh, in any way that we uh, want to display to the user. So if you check out the documentation on day.js for formatting, uh, as you can see, you simply call this additional format function uh, and then pass in a string with the format. So here, for example, if you just wanted to display the year or just the months for some reason, uh, then you can actually do that as well. So let's just go and uh, take an example in our app. So where we're actually using day.js here, we'll say call the format function. And then the string I'm going to use is just we'll say the hours in 24 hours and then a colon and then we'll say the minutes and then seconds and then we'll go for the day uh, months and years taken from the string that's provided so if we save that and then go back over to the app you can see here now we're getting the date presented to us in the format that I've just specified. So we've got the, the time uh, in 24 hours uh, with the exact seconds, but also the date, and we've still got our location in there as well. So that's just a quick example of how you can use day.js to format your strings uh, of dates uh, to show us uh, something a bit more legible to the user rather than that big ISO string. And of course you can customize this in any way uh, you wish uh, for the app that you're actually uh, creating. So there you go, that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.